Hello and welcome to Evaluate This. I'm Andrew Fryer and in this short screencast I'm going to show you how to build a highly valuable file server. I need three VMs to do that and the first one of these is simply my domain controller. The other two, London HAFS 1 and 2, you can see here, I'm going to use to build a cluster. I'm going to then create a file share on that and that's how we do the high availability thing. So let's get started. The first thing I need to do is actually put the failover cluster features into these two VMs and then build the cluster. And rather than do that from the UI, I've got some PowerShell here, which will do it for me. These two commands here are going to put the feature into each of those VMs, and then a one-liner here will create the cluster. So I'm just going to run that now. I've also got the PowerShell here to add in the shared storage, make it a cluster shared volume, and create a cluster scale out file server role on the back of that. But I'm going to do all of this from the UI. So here's my cluster. It's got the two nodes in it. But as yet, no shared storage. I've already created an iSCSI target and in the initiator for these two VMs added that target in. And you can see it here. So I just go ahead and complete that. Now cluster shared volumes used to originally be just for Hyper-V, but in Server 2012, they're now available for other roles as well. So I'm going to turn that on just by adding to cluster shared volumes like so. And now I'm ready to create my file server. So I configure a role, select file server, and I'm presented with two options. I'm going for scale out file server for application data because I want to put Hyper-V VMs on this share that I'm going to create. I need to give it a name. I'll call it HA file server. And there's my scale out file server. You'll notice that when I select it now, I have the ability to add a share to it. But if I do that straight away, I'm most likely to be presented with this error, so watch for that. Just leave it for a couple of minutes as it completes in the background. And now you see it's going to work OK. When I create the share wizard, it's much more complicated than creating a normal share because you've got a number of options available. If you just want NFS, you choose one of those or a standard file share. But actually what I want is an SMB share where I can put application data, specifically Hyper-V VMs. So I'm going to select this. It's going to pick up the shared storage I already have. And now it's asking me for a name for the share. I'll call this VM share. And now you can see that all the options here pretty much are greyed out because of the choices I've made earlier. I can, however, select to encrypt data access to the share if I want to. I also want to customize permissions so that my Hyper-V servers have access to this share. And I've put all of those in a group I've created called Hyper-V servers. I'm going to give them full control to this share. And now I'm ready to create the share. So I can go ahead and click the Create button. And I'm done. You can see my share down here at the bottom of the screen now. And if I jump back onto my physical host, I can now browse to it. Remember, it's called HA File Server. And just to check it's working, I could create a directory in here for my VMs. And finally, if I go back to Server Manager, I can see that HA file server and HS cluster here with their IP addresses, so I can manage them, do whatever I need to to them. And also, if I go down into file and storage services and look at shares, you can see the share is also available here for management. So it's just going to show up like anything else would. So that's how easy it is to set up a highly available file server. If you want to try this yourself, you just need to download the Windows Server 2012 Evaluation Edition. 